Hello, beta testers. <laughs> yes, you read the title correctly. A white woman is angry an Asian developed game is not diverse enough for her. God forbid other cultures be other cultures. As a black gamer, I can tell you that I do not want Final Fantasy to be more diverse. I want it to be a good game. I find the developer's response to why they have made the choices they've made satisfactory. And I plan to purchase Final Fantasy 16 because as a real gamer, Final Fantasy, the franchise, has done nothing but enhance and positively affect my passion. As someone more diverse than this wannabe activist claiming to be a gamer, I can speak with authority when I say, we don't care. We don't want Forspoken, we want Final Fantasy. Plenty of woke identity first cringe exists on the Xbox with things like Fable and its ugly female protagonists for people to enjoy. There's no reason that this story cannot exist and can't be told because if this game's story is high quality and the gameplay is fun, that's what matters more to gamers and that's who this is being sold to, not activists. We don't care how many ugly people, flattened women, downgraded females, or people of color that you can jam onto the screen at one time. I don't like inclusion for inclusion's sake. I like there to be a reason. I would like fleshed out characters, not someone showing up and declaring their pronouns because you lack self-awareness enough to know people don't care. If this sounds as hilarious and out of touch as someone talking about a Hogwarts Legacy boycott when everybody loves the game for exactly what it is and intends to purchase it, it's an astute observation and I applaud you. Tell me in the comments how you feel about this because Five Head themselves was forced to acknowledge and invalidate their own entire article by recognizing that, and I quote, at the time of writing, over 1,200 players have responded to the poll, but just 2.9%, that's around 40 people, are intending to intentionally boycott the release, with 72.8% still committed to buying it despite the issues, end quote. The issues that are a big deal for you. <laughs> what if I told you that this poll itself is no indication that people actually intend to boycott it, and that if I felt particularly 4chan and chaotic in my trolling this day, I could lead you to believe that I intended to boycott the game just to encourage the stupidity that is an article as brain dead and out of touch as this. As a black man, someone who is better suited to speak on an issue like this, I am not offended. I do not need or require them to be more diverse and I find you and your assertion, your argument insane, moronic, and absolutely pants down laughable. I'd like to say GTFO, but emphasize that there is no tits or before because you have passed a point where anyone's interested in that. I do not encourage or seek or want anybody to reach out to people like this. It is my job as a passionate portion of this hobby to call nonsense like this out and demand that games journalists be held accountable for the turds they attempt to smear not just the now most lucrative form of entertainment, but the players themselves. I asked Dia, who for those unfamiliar with this channel is a Mexican woman who I hope is ethnic enough to be allowed a voice, how she felt, and this is what she had to say. I feel like I have a pretty good grasp at, at how dumb some some white saviors want to be. <laughs> and that is that I'm Mexican, but they're telling me that I should change the way that I call myself a Latino, a Latina. Latinx, because, you know. 
because to them it's offensive because it's not inclusive when there is an inclusive form of it that doesn't clash i love the way your culture responds to that shove that shit right back up your ass yeah like we're not even going to engage with it unless we're gonna make fun of it and i think i think the asians should do the exact same thing where we where they go that's a cool opinion but it's your opinion and we don't need it and we don't want they're it. entitled to their own they're entitled yep. to make yep. their and own that's why that's why they're gonna end up treating us like uh hoyo treated the chinese versus the rest of the world and that's japan will get a version of the game that is really dang and great and then the rest of us will get censored because it offends someone over here when the rest of the country could give two shits about it. to be honest with you i think I think in their backwards way, they have just like bigoted themselves like that. Like now to me, they're a bigot. They are ironically, racist. ironically, they are sexist and misogynistic with the fact. That but they're, they're, but they think they're doing it for the right reasons and they're on the right side of history. Why, and that's why I started off with saying these white saviors think <laughs> that what they're doing is correct. When in reality, you're not, you're hurting your cause. You're hurting us. And we want to be as far away from you as possible. None of us are offended. I'm sure none of them are offended. I'm pretty sure as a cis woman, I can say I'm not offended by the hot uh, characters from any video game from any country. Hmm. But I am offended at the fact that when someone looks at me, they already in their mind they're assuming things when you're essentially proving the point. You're proving the point that you are awful. And you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. As a black man, I can tell you that because they have poisoned the well with all of this woke identity first, uh, no no consideration for quality garbage, this black Cleopatra, the Velma-ing, the Rule 63 oh for everything, gosh. I can tell you they have reason to, at a glance, when they see this, this but black, this but female, they have a reason to disengage. It is you know, repulsive. It is repelling, it is not selling. The fact that Disney has a black princess, you know what they ended up doing? They ended up turning the redhead white German Ariel into a black girl. When you have Tiana from Princess and the Frog, that the whole story takes place here in America and it's in New Orleans and it's a very poignant story told through a fairy tale. And they didn't do that. I think it's important to recognize that it'll never be enough for some of these people. It will never be enough. And I praise Japan, I praise the Final Fantasy developers for not capitulating, for not bending, for not bowing. Do y'all, because that's why we like you. We like what you're doing. We don't like these people. If you're confused about whether or not I'm a I'm a real gamer as opposed to an activist, go back on this channel that I'm not desperate to get views and people following me on and just look at how many hours that I've spent gaming. Because this is what matters to me, the elevation of the medium, the progress, not the progressive message and statement that white people want to breathe into people who don't want it. So thank you. I appreciate your perspective. And hopefully we are ethnic enough to have a voice at the, the tables that, you know, we should be included at, right? Not excluded.